Hi, something a little bit different for you today. I've got a video for you that's been inspired by a lady that I was speaking to online uh, on Facebook. This is a lady who loves looking at pictures of the Lake District and she loves looking at the videos, she subscribes to my videos um, but she's not quite sure whether she'd like to come and walk in the Lake District. Um, and I kind of thought afterwards, I thought, well, hang on, we all of us were in that situation once. Every one of us that goes fell walking, I've been doing it for 44 years, every one of us, there was a point at which we took our first walk onto the fells. And I kind of thought it would be a nice thing to actually say to people, look, if you want to walk on the fells, but you're not quite sure, you're not quite sure whether you'll enjoy it, you're not quite sure whether it's for you, then what you need is a walk that will tell you that. A lot of people I know have taken this walk as a first walk and they've enjoyed it and then they've gone on to do other first walks and in the end they've, they've climbed all the Wainwrights and, and they've done all the mountains in the Lake District, they've even gone up to Scotland. So um, it, it has inspired quite a few people. I also know people who have done the walk and they've said, well, yes, it was very nice, but I don't think I'll bother a second time, thank you. But at least they found out. If you're an experienced fell walker, okay, but you know somebody who isn't an experienced fell walker and might like the experience, why don't you show them this video and just say, there, give that a go. If you like it, go walking in the Lake District. If you don't like it, well, don't go walking in the Lake District, basically. Anyway, we're off. We're popping up to school not. Come with me. We're starting at the cinema, since it's easy to find, nice and central, and has a small car park nearby and a bus stop outside. I did a video of this walk in 2011, but the route was slightly different. It started from Craig Walk and followed a narrow path to join up with the route on this video on the edge of town. It is shorter, but for this video we are visiting Bisky Howe on our way out of Bowness. So from the cinema we walk down the hill, past the shops to Helm Road. Our first stop is Bisky Howe Viewpoint, where there is a stunning view of the lake. From there we head up Helm Road and then turn left to follow a path on the edge of town. After joining up with the previous route, we head up the slope and over the fields to the bottom of the fell. After a short stretch up a tarmac road, we join an ancient bridleway before turning left to follow a rough track up to School Knot Tarn. From there, it is barely a quarter of a mile of easy climbing to the top of the fell and glorious views over the Lakeland Fells. There we are, this is a lovely little cinema, but it's too nice to sit in and watch films today. A little way down the hill, we turn left onto Helm Road. After a short, steep climb, we come to this pathway on the left. We simply bear left and follow the path uphill to this popular viewpoint. This is Bisky Howe. It's easy to reach and it'll whet your appetite for the bigger views later on in the walk. Can't hang around though. Down these steps, follow the signs and up the tarmac road towards the helm, which is right on the edge of town. And when we get there, we turn left onto this nice, wide and easy to see footpath. We've got houses beyond the trees to our left and fields to the right. It's very pleasant. This is where we meet the other route. Over the stile, bear right, keep the houses to our left. Our first real navigation difficulty. Not too bad really, it's just that there is a fork in the path and no sign. There are two yellow arrows on the rock to our right. It's not the best idea, but you do sometimes find this in the Lake District. After you. A couple of minutes later, we meet a minor road and get a timely reminder 
not to eat too many mince pies this Christmas. Okay, we cross this minor road. Go over this stone style in the wall. It's quite high is this one. And then down to the bottom end of this field. At the bottom there's this style and then a stream to cross. This stream actually rises on school knot and this is the first of five times that we will cross it. About 20 yards later we cross it again. I should try not to get too excited. Right, that leaves the little line of road behind. We only followed it for a couple of hundred yards. And now it's track and path all the way to the top of the fell and it just gets better and better as we go. So we just gone along here, another quarter of a mile, we'll veer to the left. It's stunning. Barely another quarter of a mile and look what awaits beyond the gate. This time we have a nice set of stone slabs to help keep our feet dry, although I often just walk through the water. Another quarter of a mile and we're at crossing number four, only this time there's no bridge or stones, although it's seldom more than a couple of inches deep. bit tricky this gate. Believe it or not we're actually about to cross the stream again. It runs underground at this point. Okay so you've come this far. You're out here on the on the fells above the town. There's virtually nobody around. You need a reward. You know, what we've come through so far, we've come along tracks, we've come through some fields, we haven't seen a great deal of scenery, uh, we've crossed a couple of little streams and what have you. It's been very pleasant, but it doesn't warrant the... You, you, you just really do need a reward. You need something that makes you go, wow. Well, I think you're just about to get one. This is School Knot Town. Beautiful. There's the source of our stream. It's rather pretty, isn't it? They are left at the town, through the gate, and up the hill. Lovely views to my right, looking towards the Howgills. Applethwaite Common, overlooked by Sow Howls and Sallows. Orest Head there to the left, and to the right, topped with cloud, red screes. And when we reach the top, this is the view that greets us. The two Windermere's lake and town with the fells of the lake district nicely on display in the background across the lake clay fights with the coniston fells as a backdrop looking southwest in the far distance black Coombe. here we are not bad views then are they that hill over yonder is Orist Head. That's where Alfred Wainwright first went when he came to the Lake District in 1930. He climbed up Orist Head and he looked at the views and he was so transfixed by the views that he went on to 
walk all the fells and then write his walking books. He didn't actually like school knot. He didn't like the fact that there were too many people who came up here and walked the dogs. He preferred Grandsire, which is uh, the hill just behind over there. Um, a bit of peace and quiet. Um, but actually, uh, I have to say, I like to meet people on the fells. Um, it's each to their own, really. But uh, you won't meet many people up here. You do get occasional people coming up, but not many. Um, and it's a beautiful walk. And uh, I do hope you take it because you'll enjoy it. And well, if you don't enjoy it, you know not to do it again. But I think you'll enjoy it. I know I certainly do. Every time I come up here, and I meet an awful lot of people here who have never been before, and they absolutely love it as well. And quite a few of them have actually decided that they're going to go up the bigger fells because they've come up a small fell like this and they've enjoyed it and they've loved the views and the fresh air, the scenery, the peace and quiet, everything. It, it's just perfect.